that you think uh, that period might end and, and you might be able to start Santa Cruz to restore people's power. John Margaritas from PSE&G, what's your best guess? We expect that the winds will die down to the point where we can get crews out there sometime tomorrow morning. Oh, that's earlier than I expected you to say. Is that because there is a certain wind speed that's your threshold and you expect it to be uh, going below that tomorrow morning? Yes. Yes, the, the, the threshold is, is gusting 45 miles or above. And uh, many of the forecasts we've seen have said it's going to be lower than that. Obviously, we will check it before we'll send crews out. Vincent Mayo, same question. Yeah, it's just, uh, well, we were, we were going to look through the, the rest of this evening. I think it's just going to be the winds are going to continue. And then if they do subside tomorrow, we might get some tail, you know, the, the tail end of the storm. And we were going to sit tight. We were still, they were still predicting whether it would be uh, fairly high winds tomorrow. So if they subside, as John mentioned, then we'll be out working tomorrow sometime during the day. It may be as late as tomorrow afternoon or evening before we can get people out, but we hope to start getting our full restoration effort going sometime tomorrow. How would either of you compare this event to Hurricane Irene?